Hi everyone, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We last left off. Uh, we were talking to a dead dwarf. Let's... We have somewhere to go now. Hopefully. Not a problem. Seventeen and a half. You have something new to say? The smell of pipe smoke at once earthy and sweet winds its way into your nostrils. Your eyes trace the smoke to its origin, where you find a broad man with straw-colored hair leaning against a mossy rock wall, his pipe held in his lips with one meaty hand. He looks you directly in the eye, but the look is not aggressive. He regards you with a peculiar smirk. Seventeen and a half. Well, it could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. Uh, what? Well, the people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Do you count them a lot? Is that what you people do for fun around here? Name's Adair. Though to the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22, 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. <laughs> I think I'll be out of here before they hang me. The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I think you ought to. Uh, what makes you think that? He looks at you a moment, his brow arched, his smirk broadens. Well, I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. The mouth was so slack, I took you for a radrick at first. <laughs> Impossible, I don't drool half as much. Ha, huh, so you're already familiar. Still, you'll have to forgive my curiosity. Around here, we prefer to turn a blind eye to our dead. Uh, I've been out of sorts lately. Of course, we all got our bad days when we stand perfectly still and stare at corpses for a while without blinking. <sighs> Do you know what a watcher is? Careful, friend. Let's not use that word around here. Could be any number of Radrick bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, Animancers, Watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around here, Radrick especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Uh-huh. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. No offense. What's that supposed to mean? No. No. Uh. You think you're going to be hanged? The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. And. What does the town have against you? Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there owns a temple to him, to give you some idea. Oh, so that's what then that was. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethus. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethus isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me... Neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethus. He enlisted, and then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. So, he claimed to be Jesus. Got it. After the war, people took to punishing Aethus worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. Of course they did. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Sounds like they did that. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Radric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. <laughs> hang that guy. Ail glances at you and lowers his voice. I can see why. You can see why I was eager to leave. Yeah, this place is a dump. No offense. 
So, if you're going to be hanged, what are you still doing here? Drinking, mostly. Point of fact, I'm on my way out. I just haven't figured out where I'm going yet. Not a whole lot of places out there that don't think Wideman's legacy started with Wideman. Uh-huh. Let's see. Well, you could come with me. Where are you headed? Uh... Cade Nua. There's a guy there. I seem to remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. A man such as that, there'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. That sounds like a great idea. Why not? Not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at that. But, truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. Sounds like, to me, like you need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> There's a fine reason if I ever had one. Yeah. Alright then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. Long as you're not the one picking the sights. I don't always stare at dead people, God. Ready when you are. What do you do? You look like a fighter. Yeah, you are a fighter. Score! I have a fighter. Wizard, a rogue, and fighter. Now I only need a cleric. Not a problem. Alright, I guess we'll explore town while we're here. Let's see. I don't see anything in here. Huh? What's this? In we go. Oh, there's a thing. What did I find? I haven't been in here for must be five, six years. It used to be real nice, bright, warm. Impressive. It's underground. Who are you? A man lies resting against the wall, lit by a dim by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, fox-like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeve soaked in blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near, his features twisted with pain. Have a care, if you mean to go in. He has to look towards the doorway to his left. This place is not so empty as I thought. Uh... Paying your respects? Okay. A little risky, isn't it? I th think the think of what the townsfolk would say. Safer down here than up there, even with the rats as big as they are. A rat did that to you? That's a little sad. This temple isn't what it used to be. Probably for the best. Times being as they are. He groans and shifts position, winching, wincing. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. And not one of his types, either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. Maybe you'll have better luck. Better luck with what? This room's around us. There used to be a temple of Aethus. The Shattered God. A grand temple, all that. His worshippers would come from all over Darewood. Uh... <laughs> Not so much from Ray Saris these days. Uh... I don't get this. <laughs> Until the war, of course. Even then, you'd get some stubborn ones. The ones that couldn't get it through their heads that their god was dead and gone. Um, get to the point. As you like. Once the legacy started, Lord Raedric decided he'd been too lenient on the Aeothians. He had his people go in and put them all to the sword. Left them down there, buried under a heap of rock. Uh, so there's zombies down there? Heretics or not, their deaths didn't stop the legacy. Didn't do much of anything at all. They didn't deserve to go like that, chopped down in their god or <laughs> chopped down in their god's house. If you can get down there, find their remains, maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. No small task. There's coin in it for you if you need motivating. Ooh, money. 
pleasant surprise to see that someone around here has a shed of respect for the dead. Hmm. Let's see. Sure, if I get paid. Then by the flame I owe you a good turn. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long, it's crawling with creatures. But if you get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. They'll be there still, if they're anywhere. Okay. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers. Switches in the walls, trick sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out and take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send someone else after your remains. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. Okay, so Ready when I you found are. a... I found a place. I found a place. Okay. Guess I'm in a dungeon now. This was unexpected. Spiders! Hey. Just say the word. You're a wizard. Why am I suddenly almost dead? This happens a lot to me. Wizard spells, okay. Um. Missiles. Well, that worked. Oh yeah, I have a level up that I need to spend. Oh, there's more spiders. Hey. I shall deal with this. Just say the word. You gotta stab it, or there we go. You're not. Let's see. Better adopt some more conservative, com conservative combat strategy. Oh, well, that happened. Yes. It's because I'm not paying attention. God, I'm bad at this. Leave it to me. Hi. Um. Let's see. Two per encounter. I'm bad at this. Yeah. And I don't think there's actually anything in this room. Oh wait, there's a thing. Uh. Okay. Ready when you are. Pile of furniture is branded with scorch marks. Quick and quiet. Oh, someone online. I don't. Oh yeah, tab. Oh, it was a box. What's this? Uh, Mother, I have asked Brother Edric to carry this letter to you, for he travels to New Heomar come morning. With him goes what coin I have, I, and I hope it will ease the surprise of an unexpected homecoming, for I mean to follow him in a few days' time. Our village is not much changed, and though I do not wish for you to worry, I do not feel safe to remain. Okay, so he didn't finish the letter. I guess I will take that. Yeah? Oops. I play too many ARPGs. I keep hitting control. Or no, I keep hitting alt to see stuff. Actually, I should level up. I keep forgetting. Um, skills. Let's see. We'll go with the mechanics. Um, and a lore. Yeah, okay. And we'll keep the extra point for next time. I get to pick... Crippling Strike, which I could have picked at the beginning, but I think I'm okay. Reckless Assault. Causes the rogue to dive into battle without a second thought, lowering his tab, uh, but increasing accuracy and weapon damage. 
That might be okay. Escape. Allows the rogue to break engagement and avoid the next attack. Diving out of range to a specific location and granting a temporary defense bonus. Or dirty fighting. The rogue employs a variety of underhanded tactics, turning some of their hits into critical hits. It's probably between these two. I think I'll go with this one. <laughs> Dirty fighting it is. Alright. Ready when you are. Is there a way I can change my formation? Ha! Here we go. This works. There we go. <laughs> it's behind the rocks. Stab it and keep you it. All right, I think this will put me in a better position. Boxes. Ooh, camping supplies. Initiate's note. Parchment is relatively intact, but the ink upon it has faded. You can make out a few patches of careful, tidy script. Uh, visitors to the ritual floor. A redemption, even for these. For God, instruct the largest bell first rather than the second. Rest is illegible. Okay, so I need to hit the second bell first? I'll take that with me in case I forget. Ready when you are. It's probably a bit for a puzzle, which I will inevitably have to solve later. Let's see, this looks like time for a spell. How bad? Pew pew! Actually, let's do that. And... <laughs> I can just burn everything! BURN! I don't think I want to do that though, that would be bad. What does this do? Let's freeze what they touch, does freeze damage to target and reduces its accuracy. Hey. Navaru, be on seat! I'm gonna die again. Because apparently I'm bad at this. What do you do? Knock down. One per encounter. Hey, that worked. How may I help? Okay, so I managed to pull that through. God, I'm bad at this. <laughs> yeah? Hey, my wizard leveled up. Level up a wizard. He's got some lore skills. Um. Adventures. Let's see. Okay. Give him a survival point. 
And uh, I'll give him athletics just so he has the second wind. Oh great! Spells! Oh, we can learn second level spells. Let's see. Oh, I have two spells. I have two spells I can learn. Uses a caster with vitality, giving them a temporary increase to maximum endurance and health. No. Creates a lance of negative energy that causes corrode damage. Okay. Mirrored image. Creates duplicates of the caster to distract enemies, granting a high deflection bonus, which is reduced with each t hit taken. Eats away at the target spirit, inflicting corrosive damage and converting that essence into endurance for the caster. That's pretty good. Okay, I kind of want that one. Combusting wounds. Causes the enemy... Causes enemy wounds in the area of effect to ignite, inflicting additional burn damage over time, each time they are wounded. Okay. Bulwark against the elements. Creates a mystical shield around the casters, using them with bonuses to burn freeze. Okay. Uh, binding web. Spins a resilient, vicious web throughout the area of effect, leaving unfortunate victims stuck. Eh, it's kind of boring. Wildering Spectacle. Creates a bizarre and perplexing visual distraction, confusing enemies in the area of effect. Okay. Bedded Caress. The target becomes paralyzed, afflicted with boiling pustules of foul-smelling liquid that erupt in the skin. Ew! Ew! That is not pleasant. So, okay, that's a blind spell. Merciless Gaze. Caster becomes able to see an enemy's weakness and vulnerabilities as though they are physically tangible, creating the chance of landing a critical hit. Okay. Um... Okay, it's a fog. I think you're gonna go with the necrotic lance. Well, should I go ray of fire? Cause they're pretty much they're pretty similar. Go with that. Yeah, I got second level spells. Better not use too many of them though. Yeah. Let's see what's over here. Whoa! Yeah? What? <laughs> Actually, I should do this. Come on! It's not to alarm me. <laughs> Do this like two times for combat, so I should definitely do it. Ready when you are. Yay! That went a lot better. Must have cracked more skulls than I thought. An ear. Maybe I can use it in a potion. Okay, what's down here? Oh. Hey. Ready when you are. Hi. Just say I don't know how far apart I have to be for flanking. But I'm assuming that I'm getting it. These, These guys I can just bash. These I can just bash and it seems fine. Missing anything? I don't think so. Another ear for Just me. Say the word. This place is big. I could be here for a while. 
Box! Give me the box. Oh! Um... Uh huh. Poison? Ugh. That's fighting dirty. Wow. That wrecked my shit. <laughs> Keep it an eye. <laughs> that wrecked you. me so bad. Can I? Okay. You gotta think. <laughs> Just say the word. <laughs> I'm so dead. Just say the word. I guess I'm gonna camp? Uh, rest. There's ominous rocks again. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> My problem is solved. Whoa! <laughs> Too alarmed. But I'm slowly dying, <laughs> boy. <laughs> okay, um... Oh god. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. How may I right, I have this. Stab it. Damn it. Stab it. <laughs> I can't believe I made it. Oh, hey. A haze fills the air, coalescing steadily into a blur of dust and mist. It gathers into the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, shimmering and echo. Why is it, what's it with me and dead dwarfs? Dead dwarfs. But stronger than sight is is the sense within you of a powerful energy. It roils and seethes with a grief that seems to spill into your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Ew. Like a crashing wave, the energy surges for towards and into you, and suddenly you are elsewhere. Before you is a brightly lit stone corridor lined with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running, your footsteps echoing off the stone around you. You forgot to tie your sandals, and they're slipping from your feet, fouling your steps. You're late, again. The rite's going to ha begin without you. You hear the tolling of a bell, and your spirits lift as you recognize the familiar warp tone of the right hand, representing the first of the dawn stars to appear in the night sky, and the last to fade in the dawn light. Pray fiercely that this is the first of the chimes and not the last. The lights fade as does the memory. And when your eyes clear, the spirit is gone. Huh. Ears! Ready when you are. Um. Ivern dies and grain seeds fill the others. Okay. Oh, it's a pot. I yeah. got monies. What is up here? Probably more death for me. 
Right. Bells. I can only click this one. Oh. Uh, the bell on the right. Middle. And left. Examine the bells. Bells appear to be fully intact. They are made of thick iron and look very heavy. Okay, I gotta look at my note. Luckily, I brought it with me. <laughs> uh, note, note, note. Um, struck the largest bell first rather than the second. That's what I thought I did. I think. <laughs> so I can't just pick the lock. I'm gonna admit I have zero ideas what going on. Maybe I need to find another clue. Ready I'll be back are. later. Um, I was in here already. As you can tell by all the corpses. Ready when you are. Ready when. Ah! Uh, magic missile! Okay. <laughs> that worked! <laughs> you know, for a rug, I tank a lot of stuff. Ready when you are. Hey. Is there a way I can make it so you tank more things? No. Now that I can see. Yeah? Okay. Ooh. Fine sword. Just say the word. I'll Lock have this it. open in no time. That'll do it. And a crossbow. Ooh, a book. Uh, I don't want to read all this. Jesus! It's lore, I'm sure. Just looking through it for clues. I'll take them and read them later. Yeah? Money! Just say the word. Okay. Um, okay, still over here. More spiders. Great. Ready when you are. Huh. 
Stab it. Stab it. Jim did. Brown smears flake away under the toe of your boot. Ooh! Found another ghost. Ghost! The nearby crystal is like the flaked, the cracked mosaic floor in shades of orange, and at certain angles, the metallic symbol beneath your feet gleams gold. As you look on, the air shimmers as if with a summer heat. The very dust and air seems to pull together until a thin, glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you sometimes think you can see the shape of a man, features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. Uh... Who are you? Your voice sparks movement. The spirit surges with a sudden blazing light, and in the next moment you are somewhere else. Your mind is sailed with a sudden wave of fear and noise. You are in the chapter hall. Priests and faithful have gathered in a great crowd, spilling into the hall. Bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Your own grief is mirrored in the faces around you. Some of the initiates are weeping. Someone has snuffed the candles and the room is dark, save for the podium, lit from behind. Two people stand before it, lit in silhouette. A man, sh uh, a man is shouting, voice so ragged with fear you cannot understand what he says. But the re... Re... Restrix stands calm, unmoved. Her strength will see you all through these dark times. You feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. The spirit tears itself from you with a sudden dizzying force, and you find yourself back before the ruined altar swaying. The spirit fades and suddenly, as suddenly as it appeared. Okay. The face of this statue is most of its features struck off, along with portions of its hands. Ready when you are. I have not gone into this room yet. Let's see what we can find. With my like eight million injuries. Oh. Just say the word. Ready when you are. Jeez. It's shooting lasers at me. Um, this. Yes. Um, blind it. It's a ghost, I'm gonna blind it. Hey, it worked! Yes. Um, Scorching Ray. Hey, it worked! I'm using up all my spells, but it works. Take all the stuff. Say the word. It's worn and tattered, the ink one is faded in this time of hardship. Must. Okay. Nothing will slip past me. Oops. Hit the wrong button again. Ooh! Uh. Yeah? A trap on it? Nope. Just stuff. Yeah. See, I learned my lesson with traps. Because oh, no I'm gonna die. <laughs> Maybe I don't have to hit. All three bells. Maybe I should just try hitting two bells and see what that does. Go try that.
Let's see what's in here. A sudden distant toll sounds from the bells, so loud and piercing that you are compelled to cover your ears. Then it lasts in silence once more. Okay. Does that do something? Yes. Ready when you are. I'll have this open in no time. No, it did not. Let's see. Okay. Let's look at my note again, try and figure this out. I'm probably just being stupid. to the ritual floor. He says... Got and struck the largest bell first rather than the second. Maybe I just have to hit I'm stumped. Here, I'm gonna try and figure this out. Sorry if this takes me forever. I'm missing something. Ready when you are. I don't think I am. Gotta be missing something. more bookshelves that I missed. Don't think touch. Let's see. Okay.
I shall be discreet. Oops. Wrong button again. Yeah? I'm... I gotta be missing something. Because that note only tells me, like, two bells? And I need, like, four. Maybe they know, maybe this guy knows something. Good day, stranger. Strange door by some bells, you know how to open it. The dirt, I know you have to ring them in order, that's all. One of their rituals, you might find more information in the all the books. <laughs> okay. Was it in one of these books that I found then? Okay. Gotta be missing something. It's gotta be in here, he said. Actually, did I look in this room? Uh, sorry this is taking so long. Not that really anyone's watching, so it's fine. <laughs> Say the word. Hmm. I did it! <laughs> yeah! <Another word. laughs> I basically guessed! <laughs> Guessing for the win!
find the remains of the Aeothian priests. That's strange looking back. All the time I spent here growing up. Never seeing what was coming. Uh huh. Ah, it's a ghost. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yes. Ow. Ready? Just teleporting things. while I wait for my hit points to go back up. Hey. Okay, and you can do this. Is this this is one per encounter, so I should really be using this more often. I should use this more often too. Alright, I think I might start get the hang of this. Okay. Say the word. Sneaky sneaky. Trap detected. As promised. Yeah. I got a ring and a potion. I should actually look through my stuff. Maybe I can actually use some of this stuff. Saber. Property sharp. Okay, so what he's got on is slightly better. Okay. Let's see. I'll actually equip this. See if that helps keep me alive longer. Hammets. Okay, so it's the spell defense bonus. Uh, let's see. Where does this go? Where does this go? Does it just go here? Fortitude. Okay, so this is a protection ring. I should put that on you. So you're my tank. Oh, it goes here. Yeah, I give a shake, cape. For funsies. All right. Not a problem. It's hidden I'll have down this there. Open in no time. That'll do it. Uh, two handed sword. Not a problem. All right, that went remarkably well. Hmm? I don't know what I did there. Ready when you are. Hey. Let's see. Okay, so I should do this much more often.
This is two per encounter. I need to use this shit a lot. <laughs> Ready when you are. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. But I need to camp again. Rest. More ominous rocks! Ghost! Yeah? Can you knock down something that floats? Time my wizard, bloody teleporting things. These things don't die easy. Just say the word. Notice that door. Found. That's a lot of ghosts. Got one. So many, and they don't die. I think I managed to salvage it. <laughs> Barely. It worked. My poor wizard, though. Yeah? That'll do it. Money! Not a problem. I wonder what this is. More traps. Ooh. Of will plus nine. Cool. 
Ah! <laughs> Ghosts! Hey. Get off my wizard! My wizard is not having a good day. Just say the word. My wizard is having a bad day. Let's see. I think I brought that last one on. Because I did open a crypt. <laughs> it went, I want to loot everything. I think my sound is glitching out. Just say the word. Betrayed! I just got wrecked. <laughs> yeah, I got wrecked so hard. <laughs> no. I'm gonna take that as a hint that that's enough for today. <laughs> I will see you all next time, I guess.